before the creation of language, men communicated in a myriad of ways. He used nonverbal body language to let others know whether danger was present and grunts and noises demonstrating joy, anger and fear. However, did he have added dimensions that we were only learning about today? Did the early men communicate through telepathy? Today, more than ever, science is open-minded to the possibility that telepathy exists. Several scientific studies demonstrate that it does indeed occur. The second question then becomes, is this a leftover that is buried deep within us through evolution while our brain developed, or is it an evolving trait soon to appear in all the population of the Earth? Some telepathy experiments study the conditions under which telepathy occurs. Most studies agree that a highly excited emotional state, such as fear, increases the potential and power of the telepathy. There are studies that are now in progress to discover whether genetics plays a role in telepathy. If telepathy were a throwback to the early days of men, it would seem logical that an emotional attachment or a genetic link would be the most beneficial. This would allow for early men to warn others of his tribe for impending danger or to call them to help him gather a large supply of food. Twin studies often cite the pain of one twin being felt by the non-affected twin. According to an article in the Physical Review in 1994, there is a search to see if the genetic link occurs not just to test telepathy but to see if memories are passed somehow to children in that manner. This would explain much of the past life phenomenon or déjà vu that many experience. The changing phase of science is reflected by not just the studies, but even at the patent office. One was granted on November the 3rd in 1998 to Princeton University. The patent is for an apparatus to find if results fall outside of the realm of chance and into the realm of a significant number. It's used to test the effect of people's thought on a random number generator. This patent is the first one that is issued that has any relationship to the paranormal, let alone telepathy. Studies through the 1980s by the military agreed that there is something to the power to communicate telepathy. The Army Research Institute prepared a report in 1985 that drew this conclusion. The bottom line is that the data reviewed in this report constitute genuine scientific anomalies for which no one has any adequate explanation or set of explanations. If they are what they appear to be, their theoretical and eventually their practical implications are enormous. By the 90s, previously hidden research was made public of the studies on PSI by the CIA. Even college textbooks changed their tune by that time and rather than debunk the subject of telepathy, had to agree that there was too much positive research to ignore the topic. Quieting the mind and removing all negative thoughts through use of meditation become more important than ever in the light of these studies. Remember that what you think may not be just kept to yourself, but may be available to your client, your boss, your lover or your spouse. Conrad Ra is an expert in practical techniques for personal and spiritual development. He is the author of Forbidden Secrets of Personal and Energetic Development. Visit his website for a free newsletter filled with tons of great tips and advice. www.greaterhumanpotential.com